Well, retired Major John Spencer is one of the world's leading urban warfare experts and chair of urban warfare studies at the Modern War Institute at the Madison Policy Forum, and he joins me now uh, from Los Angeles. John, you have been to the Ukraine uh, recently. How would you describe the situation there? How is the military doing? Well, I mean, I went to study the Battle of Kyiv, which I think is the most decisive battle in modern era, where Ukraine defeated Russia and made them re discover their strategic objectives. But that moved to the east of Ukraine now. But the military is still on high spirits. The entire country felt like it was on a war footing and that they would never give up. But in the east, since Russia gave up and lost the wars of Kyiv and Kharkiv, they're able to mass their forces and are outnumbering the Ukrainians and, and making these small tactical gains, but at a high price. So the, and the Russians have lost over 30,000. Um, but while the Ukrainians are outnumbered and outgunned, they're still achieving, even in the East, great, great victories, I'd say. Russia hasn't captured Kyiv. It hasn't captured Odessa yet. These are two major st strategic prizes. So what's your assessment of where this war is at right now? So where we're at right now is that since Russia couldn't capture all these strategic prizes, they tried to capture the Donbass, which has been, there's been a war there since 2014, and they've achieved some gains. They've captured most of the Luhansk region by really destroying the cities that are vacated of people, so they're ruling the rubble. Um, and they're going to keep pushing, I think, although they're, those two, that victory in Luhansk, if you call it a victory for them, cost them so much that they've had to go into an operational pause to try to refill their forces. But I think they're going to try to push into Donbass. But uh, fortunately or unfortunately, uh, cold weather is coming, and that will significantly change the, the basically war fighting capability of both sides. And how will it do that? Because you know we're heading into we're heading out of the summer and into the autumn now. We know that the winter there is going to be brutal. So what will that mean for this conflict? So I think it, it plays in the Ukrainians' hands, who, who who are still outnumbered and outgunned. Although the Western weapons are are flowing in and as soon as they hit the battlefield, they're having a great, great impact. But in cold weather, soldiers like Russian soldiers who are already on the tipping point, demoralized, they've lost so much. That the Russians are having to put prisoners, let prisoners out of prison to serve in the military. That cold weather is going to just bring them to a slow halt as soldiers get really demoralized and, and really question why they're here, mm. why they're there because of that cold weather. Uh, it puts, as an old soldier, I know that that puts a real test to a soldier's will to fight. Do you think that Ukraine uh, can win in uh, this conflict? Yeah, honestly, I do. Um, not only are they being, they have 50 nations supporting them with the better weapons than the Russians, although they're outnumbered, and but that those weapons are flowing in daily. Many Ukrainians are being trained outside of Ukraine and then being put back in so they'll be better trained, they're better motivated. I think eventually it's just the cost that Ukraine is going to have to pay um, the longer it drives on, but I don't see the Ukrainians losing in this scenario. Well, thank you so much uh, for your analysis here this afternoon. Our retired uh, Major John Spencer from Los Angeles. Thank you.